You've seen the headlines. You've heard the rumours. But tonight all is revealed. Welcome to Celebrity Big Brother. Celebrity Big Brother! since you crowned Luke A the winner of Big Brother 2012. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How hot are our dancers? Yes. Since then, uh, the Big Brother house elves have been in and performed their magic, and the house is ready for our new batch of celebrities. For the next few weeks, you'll be getting up close and personal with your favourite celebs. You'll see them first thing in the morning, last thing at night, wearing no makeup, brushing their teeth and picking their toes. Hey, who says you can have too much of a good thing? But who are these fabulous new housemates are here, you ask? Well, guys, ask no more. You're about to meet them. Now, they do say that you should save the best to last, but... We've got the best right from the very start. She's the ultimate housemate. She's blonde, brassy, and used to keeping order. She's our streetwise housemate number one. All right, Cocker. My name is Julie Goodyear, and I'm probably most famous for Coronation Street and playing the part of Bad Lynch. A smile from me. Add one yourself, Miss Ebert, for bringing a bit of glamour into our lives. I recorded 2010 episodes. Bet is often referred to as the queen of British soap. Once that beehive went on, she began to feel like a second skin to me. Same again, love. Get it. Got it. Good. Sup up and sod off. She never had a look with any fellas. She was dropped into a freezing cold lake, then they tried to set fire to me. <laughs> now, a leopard print then was tarty. Slap her, frowned on. I loved her. Da, 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 da. I was awarded an MBE by Her Majesty the Queen, voted the greatest ever soap star. The little mirror? No, I am not excited about going into the Big Brother house. I'm frightened. I've got one bad habit, smoking. <coughs> yeah, I do get along with people, providing they're not loud and aggressive and drunk. I've never been in the celebrity world in my life. I'm just chewing. It's Julie Goodyear!
Julie, Julie. I feel like we're in the presence of television royalty. Now, Julie, you were saying there on your uh, videotape that you're a bit frightened about entering the Big Brother house. Oh, wow. I can now tell you, you are the first celebrity to enter the house tonight. Wow. Wow. How does that make you feel? How are you feeling? I'm looking forward to it, Brian. I really am, yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Don't encourage Big Brother. Now, playing best, you're used to dealing with rowdy punters. Will all that experience help you inside the Big Brother house? Hopefully, yeah. Now, you said you don't like loud people, aggressive people, drunk people. I think you're going into the wrong house. If you encountered that in there, how will you cope? Maybe a bucket of cold water. We'll see. <laughs> so, there we are. Housemate number one, soap legend Julie Goodyear. You can see Julie enter the Big Brother house straight after this short break. I'm so excited! Hiya! Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. Now, before the break, we met housemate number one, soap superstar Julie Goodyear. I mean, she stood right beside me. Let's go live now to see Julie take her first steps inside the Big Brother house. It's fucking locked. It's locked. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Blimey. This is cool. Mmm. Oh, that's sweet. Incredible. That must be the diary room. Wow. Jeez. It's outside. Bloody hell. It is locked. And question, does Joseph know you have his coat? So Julie is safely inside the house. I think what she needs now is a housemate who enjoys a right good knees up and perhaps a fetish for headbands is housemate number two. Hello, my name's Cheryl Ferguson. You might know me as Heather Trott from EastEnders. Heather had some amazing storylines before she died. I was done for nicking cheese in a minute, Mark. I got pregnant by a teenager, and then I got hit over the head by a picture frame. Then get off me! Oh, no! Since being in EastEnders, it's been amazing. People's reactions on the street, I get shouted, Heather! Heather! I get proposals of marriage, dinner, going to George Michael conventions. Give me up, give me up, give me up! I love singing. I love singing. <laughs> I might be a bit annoying sometimes. I think I'm a nightmare to live with. If there's any conflict in the house, I will probably try to walk away. Walk away from the conflict. I don't know if I'll be a great housemate. I just hope I'm a happy housemate. Probably you'll find me weeping in a dark room quite a lot. It's Cheryl Ferguson!
to hurl. Thank God we're not wearing the same. That could have been hashtag awkward. Is that a Big Brother eye I see here? You've dressed specially for the occasion. You know what? No, this is actually a gift from my husband, so he's pretty cool. He's done good. He's done good. I take it you're going to miss him over the next coming weeks. Oh, yeah, but you know what? It'd be a little bit of a lousy, wouldn't it? Why not? Now, you're well used to all the uh, drama from Albert Square. Hi. How will you cope with the drama in real life? Um... Do you know what? Wait and see. I've got a few things up my sleeve if they're getting a bit fun. Can I ask you what is up your sleeve? Have you got a game plan going in? No, 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 no. I've got a few choice words though, if they do hit me off a bit. Oh. And what's it like hearing a lot of love from everyone here tonight? Must be an amazing feeling. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. You're very welcome. In you go. Enjoy. Well done. It's Cheryl, everyone. Cheryl made her first appearance in EastEnders in 2007 and was in the soup for five years. Prior to EastEnders, Cheryl appeared in Allure Law, The IT Crowd, Casualty and Doctor Who. She's very musical, owns a drum kit, a saxophone and 11 guitars. Oh, my word. Hello. <laughs> Hiya, Julie. Cheryl. Hiya, lovely. Oh, darling. Oh, well, we're in. We're in. How are you, I'm good. Darling? How are you? <laughs> Get it? Oh, Got it? Good. I'm here. All oh, right. How are oh, you? Lovely. You're right. Nice yeah. to see you. Good oh, look at this. Look hey, at this it. is all right, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit posh. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Absolutely. What happens now, then? I've no Away idea. Away from everybody else. Yeah. Looking, looking. Oh, there we go. Look good. Look good. Weird. Very nice. You're a lot of fun. Yeah, I bless you. you look, can your little girls just look, you, If you tap them three times, can you go home? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. OK. Right, what's happening then? What's, what have we got in here? I think we just wait for everybody, don't we? I it's think. <gasps> look, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Cameras everywhere. Cameras everywhere. I'm, I'm going to try and forget them. Well, I don't think you can, we've got to. <sighs> we'll be fine. Wait, this is Big Brother. Oh, here we go. Will Julie and Cheryl come to the diary room? Where is it? Is that I don't it? know. Where is it? I was is that there. It? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> you think I haven't seen this programme before? Go on, you can press it, Jew. Oh, ding dong. What are we doing? Where are we going? Yeah, good on evening. Do you want keep going? Don't even have. Oh, Lordy, do I have no sense of direction, here, you know. Yeah. None. Which one? I don't know. No, it's that one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll never... I don't know. Oh, here know. we go. Oh, my God. What's that? Look. <gasps> oh, look. Oh, oh sugar, are you all right? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> go on, you sit down. I'll put... Go on. Look, we've got boxes. Yeah, but my bum's bigger than yours. Is it? Hell, it's not a bum competition. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's not gonna... Oh, already... What is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, well... We <laughs> went up. Oh. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Julie. Hiya. Uh, yeah. Hello, big brother. How are you? Yeah, good. We're fine. Yeah. You've got to get a bigger chair, though, mate, because, you know, don't go on. Big brother is delighted to have such huge stars of Coronation Street and EastEnders here in the diary room. Oh, bless Thank you. you. Bless you. Thank you. How does the big brother house compare to Coronation Street and Albert Square? I think it's topped it. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a um, lot, lot cleaner. Yeah. Looks very glam. Modern. That's yeah. very good to hear. Mm. Well, tonight, Big Brother wants to see what formidable drama queens you really are All by right. turning Big Brother into a sensational soap opera for the next 90 minutes. 90 minutes? Right. What do you mean? What? Either side of you are boxes <laughs> containing an earpiece for each of you. Open your box and place the earpiece in your ear. Oh. Yeah, why have I got a curry thing? What's this? That's out of all day. Should have got a square on, right? I can't shove. Where can I... I ain't got one. Oh, yeah. Hang where where'd you shove it? Oh, there's a pin on one, then. Eh? That's a bit dodgy. You've got a pin on hers. Oh, no, I've got a pin on mine. Which bit goes where? It's not a coil, is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Place the flat end in your ear. Who? The what? The pokey end, that end. The flat end in your ear. Oh, the pokey end. Yeah, but that's end. got... The, there's a pin. Yeah, but there's, there's a, a pin There's it. a spike on it. You don't put the spike in your ear, do you? Nah, can't do. Look, that the end which like... doesn't have a spike on it. It has. It, does. it has. There's a bit 
Look, we're not making prick. it up. There's, there's a prick. There's a, like, there's a prick on it. Do you want me to wow. come on? There's a thing on it. Look. There's a, like a metal. There's like a thing on it. And if you take like a plastic, isn't it? Like a tag. It's a prick. Do you put that bit in your ear? You can place both the earpieces down in the boxes. Big Brother will get to that later. Oh, all right. Oh, right. Yeah, all right. What? Oh. Not our fault you've got plastic bits on the end of your what names, is it? Pick on. Well, you've... <laughs> Big Brother will give you instructions to create a real life living soap opera right here in the Big Brother house. Right. Right. Each time you hear your show's theme tune, this means that Big Brother is about to give you a stage direction to create a moment of drama. Right. Whenever yeah. you hear your show's theme tune, you are back in soap mode and Big Brother is the director. Right. Right. You will always hear each other's instructions through your earpieces so you can help each other out. We'll need to. Uh -huh. Big Brother wants to see scandal, tears and tantrums. Classic soap opera action. We've only just got to you. And I might be a Hollyoaks babe, really. Stop it. Are you? I don't know, but... <laughs> if you do all this to Big Brother's satisfaction, yeah. the whole house will be rewarded. <sighs> what with? Yeah. To clarify, this is a secret mission and none of your fellow housemates <laughs> must find out what you're up to. Oh. <laughs> so hang on, so, so, so can I just clarify? In I the ear, <coughs> in the ear... You're going to play a theme tune, the theme tune of EastEnders or Coriora. And basically, when it's Coriora, Julie Luli Booley is going to go and do a dramatic what name, and I'm going to do mine to... Big Duff Duff. Brother will explain everything oh, shortly, right. shall yeah. we? Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, it's not You must in. not remove your earpieces until instructed. Well, it's not well, even yet. We'll go and get him in. Let him get him out. <laughs> Couple of bricks. <laughs> which really is the story of our lives. <laughs> even if yourself. someone suspects you of taking part in a secret mission, <laughs> if someone discovers that you are doing a secret oh, mission, oh. you will fail the task, well, and housemates will be punished. All right. Oh. Cheryl, do you understand? Oh, yeah, go on, go for it. Julie? Get it? Got it. Good. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now? Goodbye, real world. <laughs> Guess it. Got it. Good. They have no idea what they are doing. So, just to clarify, Julie and Cheryl have been in the house for a few minutes and they're already on a secret mission. We've got to be quiet. Now, if anyone can pull this off, it's those two drama queens, or rather, judging from that, queens of drama. Now, our next housemate is no stranger to sticky situations. So let's see how he handles the diva fever that is Julie and Cheryl. It's housemate number three. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, you definitely probably know who I am, but if you don't, uh, my name is Mike the Situation Sorrentino. You guys probably know me from the show Jersey Shore, which uh, is uh, in America, a pretty popular show. This is the situation right here. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. I mean, you can hate on me all you want to, but what can you possibly say to somebody that looks like Rambo pretty much with his shirt off? You know, you look at me and one word just says, the goodness. That was good, right? <laughs> if there are any hot girls in the Big Brother house, I would surmise most likely I will be hooking up with them most likely. The age range probably that is, you know, most interested in me would probably be 18 to about like 50. You want to go for all bases? <laughs> I would have to say best qualities for me. I have a good sense of humor, very loyal, and I do have green eyes and a six pack, for real. That is the situation, because the situation said so. It's the situation! Can we just see them again? Can we see one? See them again? Yeah, let, let's see them again. Oh, they're there. They are there. <laughs> Thanks. Early Christmas present. 
Now, your life mantra is gym, tan, and laundry. There's no um, sunbed in there, and there's no laundrette in there. The situation, how are you going to cope? There is no tanning salon there? There's no tanning salon, and with the British weather, what are you going to do? Uh, can I at least do the gym? Yeah, we can at least do yeah, the gym. Now, you're known for your lack of um, inhibitions. What won't you do on camera? Because Big Brother sees everything. Um, I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> You're gonna win it! Wait, no, wait, no, wait. Uh, wing it, wing it. Oh, wing it. Let's clarify that. In you go, enjoy. It's the situation! He's going to wing it. Michael, the situation. Sorrentino was born in New York. Mike is rumored to have made more than $5 million in 2010, making him the second highest paid reality TV star after Kim Kardashian. Hi, I'm Julie and Cheryl. Hiya, Hi. I'm Cheryl. How are you? The I'm situation, fine. what is that? How are you? Hiya. Nice. You haven't... Nice to meet you. I'm good. Uh, yeah. should... Is that your name? Apparently. You but just call me No, no, I, that's uh, my nickname, the situation. What's your real name then? Michael. Michael. Yeah, Michael. Yes. Michael. Yes, nice Michael. to meet you. What's your nickname? Julie. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cheryl. I'm, conf I'm, co I'm confused, mate. I like, I like, I like, I like the nickname. Oh! Too. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cheryl, take the situation to one side yeah. and oh. tell him you hate um, Julie yeah. because she had an affair um, with your ex. Where, where are you taking me? Uh, where are we going? Come over here, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Julie, Julie can you... Like, oh, what's the Julie, can you just go and check? What's that over there, mate? For it's me? My, my jacket. Oh, is it? I don't my know what's in the bag. Oh, is it? Cos yeah. I, I thought I saw something... Come in, somebody come in earlier, after. She's a bit weird, that one. Which one? She, she, she had an affair with my... Mm -hmm. um, she had an affair with my, with my ex-boyfriend. I'm married now, but my ex-boyfriend, she had an affair with him, so I really don't like her very much. Huh? But she, she don't say anything yet. Oh, I definitely won't. <coughs> For real? Yeah, man. Look at the age of it. What would you like me to do about this one? Huh? You can do that. It's nice you know, in here, isn't it? You, man, because she's after the young ones, don't mean? She's after the young ones. Hey? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. place. Why don't you have a breadstick, Julie? No, I'm not into breadsticks. Are you not? Mm, well, it's just... Yeah. Looks like you could do with a good meal in something. And I don't um, drink. What's I say? Hey? I don't drink. No, I don't know. drink. Do you not, Cheryl? No, you used to, though, didn't you, Julie? Oh, a long time yeah, ago. Long do you time drink, ago. Michael? Yeah. Do you uh, drink? I used to. <laughs> so you don't? I mean, uh, not right now. No, I don't. <laughs> state of it, look, state of it. What? State, state of it. Do you think she's like, you know, gets a young one? She can't wait to see huh? the bedroom. <clears throat> hey, I bet you can't wait to see the bedroom, Julie, because no. you like the bedroom, don't you? Uh, <laughs> well... You want to watch out, you What's that supposed to mean? Huh? No, I'm just saying you like the bedroom, Julie. I've not seen it. You like... Huh? Did you guys see it? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, you like the bedroom, you like a drink, you like the young'uns. Just to clarify, Cheryl has just told the situation that uh, Julie slept with one of her ex-boyfriends. Come on! I can't believe how good Cheryl is. Yes. Who will be... I love her too. Who will be next to join our first three housemates? Well, find out after this short break. It's good. <laughs> Huge, massive welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. So far in the house, we have our soap queens, Julie Goodyear and Cheryl Ferguson, plus US reality sensation, The Situation. Now, Big Brother has already given Julie and Cheryl a secret mission of their very own, to create a real life soap opera right inside the house. And before the break, remember? Cheryl dropped the fake bombshell that Julie once had an affair with her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Big Brother, you're just so naughty, yes. But 
I'll tell you what that house needs now. More innuendo. Our next housemate wanted to go in by the back door, but I'm afraid it's the front door or nothing. So let's shove him in. It's housemate number four. I'm Julian Clary, camp old tan and renowned homosexual. The public will know me um, over the decades for hopefully making them laugh. I started out in the mid-80s and I saw a gap in the market. No one was talking about gay sex in a very graphic way and I thought, well, I should demystify this for the public. <laughs> very nice of you to recreate hamster teeth for me here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I've just been fisting Norman Lamont. <laughs> I don't know what came over me, but it did cause a bit of a fuss. I don't like the sound of people breathing, coughing, or snoring. As long as I can have my three hours alone in the bathroom every day. And of course, I have an afternoon enema, which I can administer myself. <laughs> yes, I will miss my dogs mostly, um, Valerie and Albert. I can't imagine not having a little fairy thing to stroke of an evening. My plan is to have sex in the jacuzzi within the first 20 minutes and if necessary I'll have sex with the jacuzzi. What I'm going to bring to the house is a bit of class and a very tight sphincter. It's Julian Clare! Addiction night. Now, we just heard you say there, um, you like to spend three hours in the bathroom in the morning getting ready. How do you think that's going to go down with your fellow housemates? Well, Davina, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> the, um, the main reason I'm going into the house is to widen my circle. Right. How wide do you want your circle? Well... <laughs> How wide can it go? You'd be surprised. <laughs> you don't like breathing, um, people breathing, snoring, coughing. Yeah. If that happens, what's going to happen, Julian? Well, I'll, I'll get a little bit tetchy, I expect. I think I want to see you tetchy. You want to see Julian tetchy? Yeah. In you go. It's Julian Cleary. Have fun. Enjoy it. You're very welcome. His mum, Brenda, was a probation officer and his dad, Peter, a policeman. He shot to fame with an act called the Joan Collins Fan Club, alongside Fanny the Wonder Dog. He lives in a 15th century cottage, once owned by no coward. No. The muck in here. Are you in? Huh? Hello. Hello. I thought the door was going to be at the bottom. But there's no door. Hello, oh, who are you? Lovely. Oh, lovely suit. Oh, you're Cheryl. Hello, Julia. I didn't Cheryl. recognise you without a balaclava on. <laughs> have, you, have you heard about that? Oh, oh fantastic. Julie's here. Julie. Excuse me, I'll Are kiss in order. Is it just the Thank four you. of us? Okay. Yeah, it's just the four of them in it. Tony Warren sends you all his love. Oh, does he? Yes. Dear Tony. Hello, Hello, you are the situation. Michael. This is Michael. Yeah. yeah. Michael, this is Julian. What's well, this is a mystery. What's your function? Oh, fantastic. Uh, what does function mean? Oh, uh, what do you do? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Stop it. What do you do? What do you oh, do? What, you have to TV? explain what you oh, do. Oh, like US, yeah, US TV. In US TV. And US TV. Yes, yeah, okay. US TV. I'll try and use Jersey short Shore? words. Jersey Shore, US TV. Because we have a drink. I'm so. <laughs> what, so what do you do on US TV? I I quite like the fact he called me Davina. If you've got something to say about our amazing new housemates, then tweet all about it at hashtag CBB. It's right there.
Now it's time to up the glamour stakes. OMG, our next housemate is a page three stunner with real text appeal. Naughty. It's housemate number five. I'm Rian Sugden and I'm a page three model. People might also recognise me from apparently sex sex in Vernon K a couple of years ago. I'm not your average girl model because these are homegrown. These are all mine. There's no plastic in these. Being a model, I think people think I'm a bit ditzy and a bit thick, but I think people would be quite surprised to know that I'm actually quite intelligent. I think I'm all right to live with. I'm not very domesticated though. That is a word, isn't it? I didn't just make that up. <laughs> I'd like to think I can use my womanly powers to get things in the house. I've got a big heart, I'll keep my eye out for everyone, and plus I'm taking a lot of bikinis for the lads. I prefer to stick around lads more because I feel like they look after me a bit better because women can be a bit bitchy. I'm not really looking for a romance at the minute, but who knows. I just want people to know me for who I really am, not this sex texting whatever. I'm just a normal person with large breasts. <laughs> It's Rian Sugden. Coming out to booze here from the crowd. Does that bother you a bit? Uh, I kind of expected it, so. Can I ask you why you kind of expected it? Just because of what's been in the papers and things like that, so. Okay, what are you trying to get out of your Big Brother experience? Um, just for people to know me, really, and that I'm not what I'm said to be. Okay, uh, you also uh, you said there that you're not very domesticated. So how will you cope with all the cooking, the cleaning, and the tasks inside that house? I can I can wash up. I'll get involved with that. There we go, it's Rian, enjoy, thank you, off you go. Rian has only packed three pairs of socks, but ten bikinis. Rian is rumoured to have dearded Russell Brand, Matt Peacock and Callum Best, but she loves men with a northern accent. Hi. How was it out there? All right. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Julie. You all right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sweetheart. You sound local. Hi, I'm Cheryl. Hi, you love. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Michael. This is Michael. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Come and suck on yourself. What do we do? We're just lighter with intent. Is that it? And what? Oh, her name. What's your name? Rian. Okay, Ian with an R. Okay, look at that thing. <coughs> what would you like? A drink. Um, what yes. do you want, babe? Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, lovely. Wine. Do all you guys know each other? There is Julie. Oh, go and tell Ian that she reminds you of a Ain't troubled barmaid. I'm Think from Raquel. Warn um, her about the champagne. wicked ways of men. I'll have champagne if that's all right. Okay. Oh, is it oh, someone else from the street coming? You was my huh? neighbour. Is it someone else? You was my neighbour. Oh, well, could you hear me then? <laughs> I'm not that loud. Heather. Heather, I'm not Heather. I know, but I'm Cheryl now. I know you're Cheryl now, but Heather's gone. Yeah, I didn't know See. any other Did name. you hear about the Daily Mail? No, what happened? Oh, well, you, you were pictured in a balaclava. Oh, balaclava gate. <laughs> What? Did you agree in Balaclava? Well, they said, basically, <coughs> wear a hat Rianne. and sunglasses to come in Rianne. disguise. You can't mimic. And I knew that no hat or sunglass was going to cover my head, so I stuck a Balaclava on it. Oh, shit. Really? I've got to tell you something. You're, you're Come on. Did you, did you ever watch Coronation Street? I did, yes. When you walked down the stairs just then, you reminded me uh, of one of my favourite barmaids, Raquel. Oh, Raquel. I know Raquel. Well, I don't remember? know Raquel, but I remember I mean, yeah. she was gorgeous. Exactly like you. Thanks. But, you know, I want you to be careful in here. I think I'll be all right. I mean, some of the men. Well, you know, particularly. Julian. No, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, Michael, for instance. Yeah. You know, he's on a sort of reality show. Where they do a lot of. Have you ever seen Geordie Shaw? Yeah. 
Is it? Be careful. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Be careful. Because oh. I don't want you, if you know what I mean. But thanks. You're welcome. I've got your back. Oh, you got it. You got it, Thank you. You have to explain what Get you do for a living. I am a page three model. I don't know if you know what that is. Model? Topless model. Take off oh. uh, That's cool. Shows the knit naps. Yeah. Get the boobs out. That's what do cool. you do? Uh, I'm on an American TV, US. Oh, okay. Jersey Shore. <coughs> Jordy Shore. What? Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. The well, the, the, I guess maybe the uh, first one oh. in the US, mm. and you guys have your version out mm. here. Yeah. Is it as bad? What? I'm so giddy. As <laughs> yeah. In a word, you mean as bad? Michael, come on, in a word. Well, well it's right. pretty bad. So it's what do you mean? The Jordy ones. Oh, well, I, I never seen that one. Oh, as we say, as in, what are they doing that show? Like full on sex scenes. Oh, for real? Full on, on what? camera. Sex, sex scenes? Oh, for on real? Camera, yeah. Full on? Full on. I don't do that. Oh, okay. What's that? Do you, though, Michael? No, no, because in America, they can't even hear that anyway. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway. I bet you know what a topless model is the situation. Rian, listening to Julie, stay away from those boys. And Julie doing really, really well. Yes. So that's five housemates in, but there's still room for plenty more. Find out who's going in next after the break. Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. Now, so far, we've got five glittering celebs inside the house. There's Corey Queen, Julie Goodyear, ex-Eastender Cheryl Ferguson, star of Jersey Shore, The Situation, comedy legend Julian Cleary, and saucy model Rian Sutton. That means we've still got eight left. So, let's add another ingredient to this celebrity smorgasbord. Now, I think it's time for some testosterone in the house. And this guy is so solid. Unless you happen to be married to him. It's housemate number six. Hello, I'm Harvey, former member of So Solid, TV presenter, stroke footballer. Yeah, I'm just everything. <laughs> Obviously, my success with So Solid was, was groundbreaking. The single that made me, that made us So Solid, is 21 Seconds. 21 seconds. T -t -t Wham! There you go. Number one single. Have that. <laughs> I've got a reputation of being a love rap. And I got blacklisted nationally due to my personal life. Obviously, I was in a high-profile relationship with two girls that are well-known. Alicia Dixon and Javine Hilton. Um, it's probably one of the lowest moments of my life. I'm not going to go into too much hype about, you know, the, the Cheryl Cole thing. Is this basically something little that's been turned into something massive? And I think it's ridiculous. I'm a loving guy. I'm a fun guy. You know, I love being around people. Come on, man, let's, let's just do this. <laughs> All this waiting and drama, let's just do this. <laughs> it's Harvey! This whole Cheryl Cole thing. I'm only joking. <laughs> now, you're really good friends with ex-celebrity housemate Romeo, who appeared in the show in January. Has he given you any tips on how to survive in there? He doesn't even know that I was doing it. I lied to him. Have you told anyone you're doing it? Um, just my mother. Surprise, he's on the telly. Now, in your own words, you're a loving guy. Um, ideal lady-wise, what are you looking for inside the house? I'm just looking for a... Just nice people, not just ladies, so I'm just getting with people, man. And anyone you would not be looking forward to living with potentially for the next three and a half weeks? People that are two-faced and not loyal, I, I ain't got time for them. And what are you going to miss about living in the real world? Um, my daughter, miss my daughter dearly, so, yeah. Okay, well, enjoy the experience, well done. It's Harvey, enjoy. Harvey is a son of Michael Harvey, a bodybuilder and former gladiator bullet. Harvey's mum washed all of his clothes and packed his suitcase for him. Hello. Hello. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, How you doing? Uh, you okay? Uh, yeah. That's not your real name, is it though? That is my real name. Oh, is it? But I thought the it was MC's Michael. missing. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's my government. Oh, <laughs> oh you're my. Oh, nice Cheryl, to meet you. How you doing, Michelle? All right, hi. Marianne, how you doing? You okay? Oh, well. Cheers. You alright? Hello. Legend. Hello. <laughs> how you doing? You okay? Very well. Hi, how are you? Doing? Oh, I'm, are you well? I'm fine, thank you. you. I'm good, very well. Good, What's good. Name? Love the show, my so brother. Funny. I know you're good. Oh, yeah, see. Good. Oh, Respect. We've got a oh, we've got a good. <laughs> yeah, we are trying to drink. Do you want anything to drink? Yeah, yeah. Long, long day. Yeah, definitely. What do you want? A bit of champagne, please. Do you want that? Nobody's opened one yet. Can you do it? Of course. No, I have. I've opened that one. And in fact, I've poured one. See you, mate. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to. Oh, lovely job. Um, get it on, get it on. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're not a drip. Oh, you know. <laughs> little techniques. Little techniques. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that a bit Let of box fizz there with the orange? No, I'm, I'm just on juice, mate. <laughs> fruity juice. Fruity, fruity juice. Let me just mix it up. How was it out there? Were they nice to you? They was, they was good. Okay. They was all right. A yeah. um, few booze, but... Yeah. Yeah. Booze? I think that's booze. Which you are. I got all mine were booze. Did like, you know what right, I mean? It was, it was positive. Good it was positive. All mine were booze, yeah. How rude. Did you, did you get all cheers? Um, I didn't really listen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, you oh, wait, you got cheers, didn't you? <laughs> really? I was busy looking for my oh, agent no. to say, I was I've made yeah, a terrible I was mistake. <laughs> So all you guys are, uh, you're from around here too? Yeah, from the UK. Wow, yeah, yeah, Guzu, am I the only one from the US? Uh, yeah, who's in that rap group? Uh, cheers, darling. Take it. Take it. Um, uh, oh, Rian, I wonder why they were booing. I think it's time for another housemate, someone controversial and mind-blowingly beautiful. Men, look away. Women, control your jealousy. It's housemate number seven. <laughs> My name is Samantha Brick, and I am a journalist and a writer. I'm famous for having written an article earlier this year entitled, There are downsides to being this pretty. Why do women hate me for being beautiful? Within 24 hours, 1.5 million people all around the world had read it. It was a feature that I became vilified for, picked over for. Yeah, it went global. I do think I'm good looking. I do think I'm attractive. I am confident. I think I look great. What's wrong with that? I'm really excited about going to the Big Brother house. I'm a good listener, I'm a good shoulder to cry on. I've been accused of being narcissistic, of being vain, of being delusional. I think I'll deal with uh, confrontation the way I deal with my dogs, very firm, very strict, but I won't back down. Do I think I can win? Um, I never say never. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's Samantha Brick. Thank you, get you to stand right on that star for me. Thank you so much. Now, Samantha, we have to ask you this question. Yeah. Are you going to be the best looking celebrity housemate inside, mate inside that house? No, no, not at all. Every woman's beautiful in there. Should, every woman should be beautiful in their own world. Every woman should be. And that's the message I'd like to get across. Okay, have you got any fears about living inside the Big Brother house? Have I got any fears? Any fears about going in there? No, I'm looking forward to it now. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, have you brought in many cosmetic, many beauty products, lots of outfits? <gasps> that would be telling. Now, you're a journalist. Uh, are you going to express yourself freely inside that house and pull no punches? I can't not express myself freely. <laughs> in a good way or a bad way? That, um, in an authentic way. I think she nearly said bad. I'm not sure. In you go with Samantha. Enjoy the experience. Samantha is an ex-television executive, writer and freelance journalist. She's worked with global names including the Duchess of York, David Beckham and Katie Price. Oh my God, 
that was insane. Was that a bit, a bit booey, was Welcome. it? Welcome. Uh, just a bit, yeah. Hi, Sam. I'm Cheryl. Hello. All right, look. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. Hi, Samantha. Hello. Thank you, Lee. I'm so pleased to be oh. here. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Hi I'm Rian. Hello. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look lovely. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you look fab. Hello. Oh, my God. We met before. Where? Prickly Heat. Mallorca. Magaluf. 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 Yes. Magaluf. Let's pretend to kiss. Sorry. <laughs> it's been lovely. Would you, you like a drink? I'd love one, thank you. Champagne. Nice this is a very camp house. house. Nice it's very camp. Nice to meet you. 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 Oh, it was really not very nice. <laughs> Is that what you're expecting? Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, it's all friendly in here. Yeah, this is a nice bit. I just, if uh, I could just be transported yeah. into here, it would be lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cheers. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Really nice to meet you. Cheers. It's a commercial break now. The watch. Not knowing what time it is. Oh, and my like phone, I miss my phone. Yeah, the time is different out here too. I feel really just not. I'm like, if you come here, I'll I'll you come here. Come here. All friendly in there is a Julian. I wonder how long that will last. Not long, I hope. Now. Earlier tonight, Big Brother gave Julie and Cheryl a secret mission of their own to act out their very own soap opera inside the house. They have to create tears and high drama all on Big Brother's cue. Shh. Yes. Now, I feel like it's time for a touch of class in the house. And if you're wondering when your prince will come, it's now. It's housemate number eight. <laughs> My name is Prince Lorenzo Borghese. I'm an Italian prince. I don't have a servant. I don't really like to use the word servant, but I do have help. I focus the majority of my day on trying to speak for the voiceless animals in the United States. I appeared on the American version of the dating show, The Bachelor. I went on there searching for my wife and it didn't work out. The ideal woman for me would be one that really likes me and makes me feel good and that I feel the same about her. I think I'm a nice, likable person. However, I'm also Italian, so when people aren't nice, I'm not nice back. I'm excited about going to the Big Brother house. I'm a little nervous too, but I think being nervous is a good thing. I'm not scared of Big Brother. I, I have a Big Brother. I'm not scared of him, so I'm hoping this is the same with this Big Brother. It's Prince Lorenzo. Should I curtsy? No, I won't, I won't. I'll save that for the rap party. Now, you're an eligible bachelor. Are you looking for your princess inside the Big Brother house? Uh, I don't know yet. You, you gotta see what's in there first. Right. Now, you said there yourself you have help. How will you cope by yourself inside the house? The cooking, the cleaning, all the tasks, Lorenzo? Well, I have housemates, I imagine, right? So you're going to get them to do all yeah, your work for you? Oh, well, you're so smoldering. I, I don't mind contributing, no. Oh, you smell I, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you've said you're not scared of Big Brother, but what about the presenter? Uh, no, I'm not scared of you. Oh, oh, what would be your worst nightmare inside that house? Uh, I guess if the people there are not very nice to me. Only time will tell. In you go, enjoy. It's Prince Lorenzo. Thank you. Lorenzo was born in Milan. His parents are Prince Francesco and Princess Amanda. He lived in Rome and in Paris before moving to Connecticut at five years old. 
Lorenzo's ancestors include Pope Paul V. I don't know what just happened out there, but it was nice. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, okay. I'm having a look because you're a bit wonky. No. Oh. <laughs> Not you, Cheryl? personally. Hello. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Hi, very nice to meet you. I'm Cheryl. Hello. Samantha? Yeah. Hi, Lorenzo. Nice to meet you. Ju yeah. Julian Lorenzo. Hi, Rian. Rian? Nice to meet you. Hi, Lorenzo. Hello, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. How are you doing, Harvey? Hi, Harvey. Pleasure. You okay? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yep. Oh. And? And Julie. Julie. Julie? Julie. Julie, nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mike. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey. Mike. He's like, you hey. see, he's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. yeah. What's, what's up, man? Welcome, yeah. welcome to London. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's my, got, uh, my little, little hey, yeah. Yeah. One of your friends. Yeah. 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 No, my husband. Help me out. From Morocco. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cheryl, go to Harvey. Tell him about Julie's affair with your ex. And cry on his shoulder. Is it what's that? Say again? You went to the bank and you said, someone else go first. I had to look because you're bankrupt. That's cool. Yeah. We just finished. Bit of garden two weeks ago. What about you? How are you feeling? Schedules? I'm, I'm running out of this question. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 we just finished. We just finished. Really? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Can you come and look at that test for me? It's itchy. It's like very nice and I was like, I'm pretty like spontaneous and I was like, you know what? It sounds cool. Nice coffee cup, isn't it? Look at everything. It's not a real yeah. Oh, look, come have a look at this thing over here. See, look, have you seen the garden? Seriously, mate. We've got to move somebody in here, man. Already? Pass, pass. Oh, oh gosh. Seriously, it's, it's nothing to do with the rivalries of soap. It's not to do with the rivalries of soap or anything, but she. Uh, yeah. She always talked to me. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really upsetting me. She went out. I found it really difficult she, before I got married to my husband. She, she went out with one of my fellas. Seriously, when I was with him, she went out with one of my fellas. When I was with, when I was with him. I don't know what to do. I think um, that's something that you both got to sort out because you're in here for a while, so there's no getting out now, my love. really upsetting, though. Big wash, tears, Cheryl. You can't let it upset you, though, Cheryl. I didn't even know she was in here. I didn't even know. Oh, gosh. I think the best thing to do is don't, um, don't show your emotion. Because then... I'm missing, I'm missing my husband. I'm missing my kids. I understand. <laughs> wow. I think once things settle, it's something that you should. It's like yeah. you know, how, we've, how we've been waiting all day and waiting around and fighting. She was in here first. She was in here first. I think it's something that you need to um you need to address. Why the, why's the tension are built? Um, think of your husband and. And you're the one. I didn't know that it's your husband now, so I must admit. I know, I know, but it was like right, painful at the time, man, for me. I can, I can like, imagine. It's, it's really weird. It's like when you walked in, I could see that like, he was like, kind of like on the same level. Because mm. he was a. Uh, no. Please don't start it. I'm ready. I've only been in the lab. You know, maybe I'm sorry. Emotional. Okay. <laughs> you got to get around. Come on, man, I need a tissue. <laughs> It's my makeup. No, your makeup's right. I don't, I don't even know it's just, tissue is to be on all these people coming in. And it's like, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. You have to be strong. <sighs> the thing is, I know you've got your strength because you're, 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 you're an actor, Cheryl. You just have to oh, treat it like you're going to the things, man. All of that's finished now. All yeah. of that's finished. Like, I'm doing other things. I'm doing music and things now. Cry, Cheryl. Cry like you've never before. Let those fake tears out. And Harvey was nearly crying too. Oh, she's doing so well. So eight enormous egos have landed and you need to stay exactly where you are to see who else is going through those doors after the break.
of Celebrity Big Brother. So far, we've got eight celebs in the house. Uh, soap stars Julie Goodyear and Cheryl Ferguson. US reality sensation The Situation. Camp comedian Julian Clary. Page three stunner Rian Sultan. So solid Harvey. Controversially beautiful journalist Samantha Brick and eligible bachelor, Prince Lorenzo. And the drama has already begun. Earlier tonight, Julie and Cheryl were given a secret mission to use their years of acting experience to create a real life soap opera. And boy, have they gone for it. They have tears and everything. Well, it's time to send another one in. Now, our next edition believes the best things in life are free. And by that, I mean paid for by someone else. It's housemate number nine. Hi, I'm Danica, and I'm a lingerie model. And I've also starred in a show called Sex, Lies and Rinsing Guys. It was basically about business women that make money through interactive services. Girls and guys can buy me things if they want to thank me for a signed picture or things like that. The gifts that I've received all range from makeup, like lip glosses, all the way to diamond earrings and Louboutin shoes and YSL shoes and Jimmy Choo shoes. I think I'll be really good at obeying Big Brother, but I think that if I have a drink, um, I don't know, I might not be. <laughs> Bad personality traits are that if I'm tired, it's not good. When I'm at home on my own, I never, ever have clothes on, and it's got nothing to do with people looking at me. I much prefer to walk around in a little pair of pants, but I don't think I'll be doing that in the house. Maybe I will. It's Danica! those shoes. Now, how long has it taken you to get ready for the event tonight? Not that long, really. How long? Give, give me a time. An hour? An hour? Yes. An now, hour. you're saying in your own spare time you like to walk around naked all the time, and that's... The, well, this potentially is your home for the next three and a half weeks. Will you be walking around naked, Danica? Probably not, because it's on TV, but I do love to, just because I feel free. OK. Now, you're saying that um, when you get tired... What happens when you get tired? It all goes a bit wrong, does I it? Get, I just get a bit grumpy. I'm sure a lot of people do. I know, boo! <laughs> and what happens if you get a little drunk and drink too much sherry? I get so happy, but then I get a bit emotional at the end of the night. I'm like, oh, I miss blah, blah, and I love blah, blah, and all of that. So. What would you miss most about the real world when you're inside that house? My dad and my twin. And my dog, Willie. I'm sure they'll all be watching. Hello, Willie. In you go, it's Danica. Enjoy. <laughs> Danica is Greek for morning star. Danica was crowned Miss Derby when she was 18. Before she was a model, she worked in a bakery. She owns a horse called Rushka and a dog called Willy Woozles. Sometimes we're in a hat when I put my hat so on. That's so scary. Do you know each other? It's a swag, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's a swag. Yeah. I got it for the colours. Hello, hi. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm all right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Danica. Julie. Hello, Julie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. This is Hello. Julian. Hi, Hi, Julian. How are you? I'm Danica. Oh. Nice to meet you. Lovely teeth. Hi, Danica. Hi, Danica. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, lovely. I'm Danica. Lovely to meet you. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah, the yeah. only one deserve one. Hello. Hi, I'm Lorenzo. Hi, Lorenzo. Nice Danica. Lovely, Lovely to meet you. 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 Lovely to meet you.
Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So scary. Oh, gosh. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, look at that. Wasn't that nice? So three more? Oh, it's a lovely house. Isn't it? I was saying that it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. No, it was good. Yeah, it's nice. Cheers. Oh, God, I'm so glad to be here now. Are you? <laughs> oh, I think Danica is missing Willie already. Oh, it's time for another housemate, and I do love a man that can throw you about a bit. Watch out, it's housemate number 10. Rawr. My name's Ash McKenzie, I'm an Olympian and I do judo. I've done judo for uh, 11 years. I'm currently under 23's European champion. I won GB World Cup and I've won Poland World Cup. When I found out I was going to be in Olympics, it was a pretty amazing experience. Going out to fight was pretty hard. It basically knocked me out. It was pretty devastating for a couple of days after, but that's judo and you just got to get along with it. I have had my problems. I'm sure there's other people out there bad problem, just people have noticed, man. Am I bad? No. Have I been bad? Yes. My opinions will come out, and I end up just saying something that I'm not meant to say, but that's me, do you know what I mean? If I, if I say it, I say it, do you know what I mean? If I say sorry for not meaning the way I say it, then I'm honestly sorry. Me, personally, I don't, I don't use my judo on anyone in the house, but if it comes to it, <laughs> it's going to have to be, so... It's Team GB's Ashley McKenzie. Ash, I think you actually wanted to take two of the ladies, but you could only have one of them. Yeah, I'm devastated, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lai, he's just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be afraid of you. I'm going this way. There we go. Now, Ashley, you've got a bit of a bad boy reputation. Are you going to abide by Big Brother's rules 24-7 when you are in there? I hope so. Oh, I like it. Uh, how would winning Celebrity Big Brother compare to winning a judo? I don't know, it's like basically the same. You're basically going up against competitors and I'm a bit of a competitor myself. So here we go, let's start. Uh, he's like, let's play. Are you looking for a bit of a house romance when you're in there? Well, 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 you never know. Um, I like to fitness. Someone in there can take my eyes. Well, I, I, I think you'll be entertained. In you go, it's Ashley. Enjoy the experience, well done. Ashley has won six gold and two bronze cups for judo. He became involved in judo when he was 11 after fighting over some Pokemon cards. He's a reformed wild child and was expelled from school three times. Hello, Ashley. Okay, how are you? Probably wondering who I am. Uh, I'm Cheryl. Hi. Yeah, you nice can tell us about who you are. Um, Hello. Hello, how are you? Everyone gets kisses, baby. You don't want that. Hi, Ria. Nice to meet you. South France. It's going to be, man. Good, yeah? Nice old family. Good, I'm good. Where are you living? Hello. Yeah, nice, nice. I basically did Olympics in Paris. Oh, Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Wait, is there a... Powder down, Julian, powder down. Ashley settling in nicely. A lot of love here for Ashley. So we've got 10 new tenants inside the Big Brother house and just three more to move in. Don't go changing. <laughs> Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. So, we've already got 10 tremendous celebrities inside the Big Brother house. I guess the only thing that can top that is someone who can cut loose and who's in the mood for dancing. Hang on, that sounds like housemate number 11. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colleen Nolan. You might remember me from being in a group called the Nolans. I was once married to Shane Ritchie, yes. I was a TV presenter on Loose Women. I was always getting into trouble on Loose Women, not realising till I got home and I'd say, Hi, I'm home, and there would be complete and utter silence in the house. And straight away I'd think, Oh, God, what have I said this time? My 16-year-old son... If he gets his exams, I've told him he can have a long weekend anywhere he wants. And he said Amsterdam, because he wants to go and prostitute. <laughs> oh, shut up, he's 17. <laughs> I'm really excited about going in the Big Brother house, mixed with a little bit of feeling sick. And I mean proper, like, me. <laughs> the type of person I'll struggle, I think, to make a relationship with is... Somebody that's in there for kiss and tell or famous for that, that winds me up generally. I can be shy, but I can be extrovert. Flirtatious, God help them. It's Colleen Nolan! Come over here for me, John, and get you to stand right there. Now, you just said to me, I'm going to be sick. You don't mean that. I am. I feel I'm going to vomit. Don't get sick on me. This is an expensive suit. Now, you're a huge fan of the show. What are you looking forward to most about living inside the house? Um, I'm such a fan of the show, but I'm mortified. <laughs> I'm just so nervous. It's like being at Disney and I'm going to meet Mickey Mouse. That might make me Minnie Mouse. Now, we might have a Nolan's reunion. Your sisters are right over yeah. there. Now, you're used to giving your opinion, sometimes on a daily basis. Yeah. Shall you be biting your tongue inside the house? Um, uh, probably to, well, to start with, but I can't promise it'll last the whole, however long I'm in there. And will your uh, teenage children be watching the show and have they given you any advice to tell you what you can't do? Yes, they have, and they are watching the show and they're very excited and all they said is, Mum, please don't get your breasts out. <laughs> If it's good enough for Denise, it's good enough for you. In you go, it's Colleen Nolan. Enjoy. She joined the Nolan sisters in 1980 at the age of 15. Their biggest hit, I'm in the mood for dancing, reached number three in the UK and number one in Japan. She's toured with Frank Sinatra, Engelbert Humperdinck and Rolf Harris. Hello, I'm Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. My mum loves you, by the way. Oh, does she? Well, I love you. And your mum. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 
Hello, my darling. Hello. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm just glad to be in. I'm hyperventilating. Hi, I'm Ian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ian. 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 Hi,
Hi, Jasmine. Do you want anything to drink? Yes. Don't. 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 Yes. Don't.
a love and the kiss with our lovely little lady there, won't you? Oh, why not? You got made the most of it, right? Yeah, uh, you're a huge fan of the show. Good to hear that. Yeah. And also quite good to hear people singing your song. <laughs> I've heard it all, all summer, that one. So no, I believe your son and daughter are right over there. Hey, guys. Have, they, have they given you any warnings about what not to do inside the Big Brother house? Yeah, loads, but I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you're nervous about inside the Big Brother house? Uh, yeah, if you get me to sing, I wouldn't like that. I'm not very good at singing. Will we get him to sing? Yeah! Now, you're used to playing villains on our TV screen. Have you got a nasty villainous plan up your sleeve? I have. Yeah, I have. Oh, that's what I like to hear. What is your game plan, Tommy? If you're going to go in there, you've got to go in to win, right? Oh, do you think you've got what it takes to take the crown this year? Yeah, I've got a plan, but... Uh, Listen, I'm going to give it my best shot. I hope you do. In you go. It's Martin Kemp. Enjoy the experience. Spandau Ballet were one of the most successful bands of the 1980s. Spandau Ballet's goal has been called the unofficial Olympic anthem. In his suitcase, Martin has packed only black and white clothes and his son's jacket, which he packed accidentally. How funny. Hello. 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 Hey, Dan. 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 Hey, how are you? All right, it's all you. gone quiet, isn't it? It's, it's quiet. Quiet. Yeah. 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 King Mark, King 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 Kempsey. Wow, it's King Kempsey. Hey, King Kempsey. Hey, Danica, yeah. we've met Danica. before. Yeah. Hey. We've met a few times, right? Chino. Oh! What are you doing? Yes. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheryl and Julie, exactly, exactly. you must now have a blazing row with each other about Julie's affair with Cheryl's ex. Julie, you must end the row by throwing a drink over Cheryl. Oh my god, I'm just drunk. Let me see what your number one is. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just saying. It's not a bear. It's not a bear. Do you want a straight? No, no. Would you want a ginger in it? I don't know about snake. It's not a bear. Oh, did you? I can't deal with this, man. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with this. Yes, Matt, thank you for what you said in thank the you. Thank you. Oh, that was you. so yeah. sweet. It made, honestly, because I was so frightened of coming in. You were you? Yes, I was, and that yeah. really, really helped me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I need it. Yeah. 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 No, I don't I'm 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 getting evil. I don't like it. In front of Cheryl sitting down. How long ago did they ask you? Can we sort this problem out? Seriously. No, because you keep making me look good. It's very nice. And these guys don't know the history, okay? They don't know.
know the history. All right? Yeah. No, you are. You're giving me looks from across the way, and I don't like it very much. And you know, you know the situation, and you know what you've done. Cheryl, I haven't done. No, but you can't even. No, you have to keep looking at people across the way. Don't be a ridiculous. You do. You keep giving me the evils across the way. Don't talk stupid. Cheryl, just leave it. Huh? Leave it. I, the problem is, Julie, these guys don't even know the history or nothing of what you've done. Well, what's, well, why bring it up now? Huh? Why bring it up now? What do you mean? Because you keep giving me the evils. Don't talk shite. Now leave it. All right. No, please, seriously, don't. Just leave it, no, Cheryl. I knew there was going to be a problem as did you come in. I knew there was be. For God's no, sake. No, seriously. Sorry, is, guys, I'm so sorry, sorry, but there is a slight bit of history and there it's not is no even funny. History. It's not Cheryl. even funny, and I'm not having the looks that you're giving me across the room. Shut up! Now! Hey, no, no, chill. Come on, man. First day, man. Leave it! Just leave it, man. Fucking leave it! No, it's the first day, man. <laughs> I apologies, everybody. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. I just don't take shit off anybody. Don't need it. Wow. Not for a minute. But it was very good. Sorry. Don't need it. <laughs> it's Heather versus Bess, and we love it! Take that. Amazing. So that is it. We've got all 13 housemates safely inside and that's where they're going to stay for the next three and a bit weeks. So we've got one actor, two actresses, three models, one reality TV star, one MC, one comedian, one TV presenter, one journalist, one Olympian and our very own prince. What could possibly go wrong? What an amazing night it's been to see all the fallout of tonight's secret mission and find out whether Julie and Cheryl passed, uh, pass, passed, pass, stay exactly where you are for live streaming next here on Channel 5. And after that, I'll be joining Emma on Bit at the Side at half past 11. And we've got some super things in store for you, including, wait for this, Live face-to-face -face nominations from the Big Brother house this Friday. You really do not want to miss it. You can also keep up to date with all of the house action every night here on Channel 5. And I'll be back here next Wednesday at 9 for our first live celebrity eviction. Also, it's my niece's 11th birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Chloe. See you next week. Good night. Gentle.
I don't take your shit. And that was shit. But I mean, I'm happy to shake on it. But she starts again. Yeah, maybe in a bit. Yeah, but wait, champagne like that again. It wasn't champagne. It wasn't, darling. I wouldn't dream of wasting champagne. Can't be doing dry drinks on the first night. That's the main thing. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I don't. You've obviously got something in your past, but I've never met her before, darling. Um, never. It's a, you know, if maybe she's having some sort of breakdown or a fit or something. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I want to come in here for a laugh. I did. <laughs> I'm going out for Come on, let's all laugh on. She'll be fine. Have the toilets open? The red eye. I don't know. I don't even know where the toilets are. I, well, I don't. I'm gagging for a loo. <laughs> I should know where the toilets are. I've just watched the whole right. last series. <laughs> well, I'm slightly traumatised. Where are the toilets? Right, that's the story. They what? Like, I think they're in the bedroom. Are they over here? It's all locked. No, that's the bedroom, I think. Where is the toilet? No, thank you. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs>